Hello, Charles. Want to look at your pieces? I think that's a nice uh, typographic experiment. Also, very interesting experiment. All right. Uh, you lost me a little bit here since this doesn't fully fill Texas and there's a hyphen. There is a, a way to do that in Illustrator. I would continue to work on this piece. Um, this has a charming style to it. I do recommend that you look for different fonts. It's starting to look like you're repeating the same kind, but I like the illustration. Another lovely illustration. I like the vines and the heart. Okay, I'm not sure what I'm looking at here. It looks like a piece of art, but there might be text down there. This is it at a hundred, and I, you know, I can't read that text at a hundred, but I do like uh, the abstract quality here. Okay, so this is the wolf howling at the moon. All right, so it just says mixed media. Two wolves. Now, of course, I can't read that type at all, and it looks like it's stretched. So I don't know if anyone told you before, but when you want to resize type, you hold down the shift key, and it uh, constrains the proportion so it doesn't get too narrow, so you can't read it. So, all right. All right, so do you really think this is a professional way of showing your package design? Showing the vent in the background. And is this your kitchen counter? Looks like there might be some crumbs on it. And then the, the wall behind. I think the answer is no, and your teacher probably told you that too in that class. So what you want to do is reshoot this so that the background and what it's sitting on is white. And then to make it look um, well lit, you put two light sources on either side. Not too bright, uh, but just enough to create a soft shadow. If perhaps you've thrown this away, you don't have it anymore, then I recommend taking it into Photoshop, delicately cutting it out, and putting it on a black, ba uh, white background. Maybe a little shadow. Okay, so you've got a lot of pieces like this where you experiment with type. I think that's pretty cool. Bath and Body Works lunchbox. Bath and Body Works lunchbox. Why would they have a lunchbox? Lunchbox style. Gotcha. Um, same comment about the lighting. You want to make sure that the light is bright. And you also want to make sure that the images are really sharp and clear. Like I think it looks interesting that you've got it on the soap dispenser, but I can't see it. It's too small. Okay, so this was on your, this is what people will see when they download your portfolio. So. I don't know if you want to repeat that because they're already there. All right, so I like this drawing, but the scan is kind of dark. I can't quite make out what's going on. What kind of paper was this? Okay, I'm at 100 now, and if I zoom in some, it just kind of looks like you drew it on cloth or something. I'm not sure why it's not very sharp. All right. I like it. I like your abstract expressionism quite a lot. This is a, not a good way of displaying things. If this is in your sketchbook, you really just need to cut it out if it's important to you. Phonotech, that's nice. I like that very direct version of this project. I've seen a million of these, but I like the well-organized type, and I like the simple layout here. And I like that you just flat out say mid-business executive. That would be interesting to me as a consumer. But of course, you want to put it all on the same page for the viewer. All right, that's interesting. I like these colors together. And this isn't a very good photograph. All right, so those are my main thoughts. You need to start to get organized. I would put all the... Uh, abstract uh, and then experiments with typography all together and maybe pick your best four and put them all on the page this one for sure 
and bum, bum, bum. I do like this one a lot, but I am wondering if there's supposed to be type there. Uh, that's good. So get a little more organized, put similar things on the page together. Um, this is really strong, and so is this one. Posters, and then um, from there, illustrations. And your dragon one should be as, as clear as this one, for the record. And anything else, so I don't, this is definitely not your strongest look right now. The other package design is much better. So if you can retake pictures of this box, it's a good idea. So this is interesting. Not everybody has this kind of experience. I think you have to take a class in order to learn how to do this. So it's really important that you show it. These are not good photographs. You want a white background. But anyway, I'm not going to repeat myself. You heard it. Just get a little more organized and think about presentation a whole lot. Let me know if you have any questions.